Commander, everyone else is with the fleet en route, save the Emperor, of course. He's back on Drome and Kass. I'll connect us. Commander, thank you for joining us. I was saddened by the necessity of Darth Shah's death. I had always enjoyed her devious mind. But in times like these, loyalty and focus are equally important. If only your operations had resulted in fewer Republic reinforcements, our work on Corellia would be more straightforward. Walk me through your plan for the battle. Given that the enemy is unaware of the details of our strategy, their fleets will assume a flexible defensive formation in geosynchronous orbit above the Meridian Complex shipyard. Contrary to their expectations, I will take most of our ships to the far side of Corellia, forcing at least some of their vessels to break formation and engage us. What makes you so certain that they will follow you? Hmm? Indiscriminate bombardment of the planet's surface. Cities, industrial centers, resource caches. We will be impossible to ignore. We cannot massacre civilians purely as a diversion. We certainly can. I appreciate your plan's dramatic effect, Krovos. But there must be resources you could target on Karelia that would weaken our enemy more significantly in the long term. As you wish. We will target industrial facilities, resource caches, and other... strategic assets to draw the enemy away from the shipyard. With their formation broken, our technological advantages will allow us to punch through the remaining defenders and conduct a surface assault on the complex. The last of our dreadnoughts, equipped with Isotope 5 reactors, will escort the ground assault force through the enemy's blockade. Meanwhile, the silencers commanded by Moff Pyron will destroy any Republic capital ships that attempt to interfere. Tell me more about these silencers. Harrower Dreadnoughts, modified to carry state-of-the-art mega-laser main cannons. They can destroy enemy capital ships in a single shot. Once we reach the planet's surface, we will attack the Meridian Complex from multiple directions, seize its control center, and disable the shields protecting it from orbital bombardment. From there, our ships reduce the complex to slag, and the Republic's best hope for victory crumbles into dust. Splendid. I do enjoy the intricacies of your strategies, but what of our honored guest? How do you plan to include the Alliance? The Silencers are vulnerable to Starfighter attack. With the Alliance fleet to escort them, that risk is all but nullified. As for the Commander, I would welcome such a deadly ally in my surface attack group. It will be an honor to fight with you as always, Argus. Together, we will be unstoppable. Rendezvous with these coordinates. Our attack begins as soon as you arrive, Commander. I shall look forward to reports of our great victory. Good hunting. My boys have a ship fueled and ready for us. They're practically drooling. Most of them have never seen a battle this big. They'll be competing for the most kills. Care to join the pool? Winner takes any interesting gear or other goodies we manage to plunder on the way out. I'm not interested. Suit yourself. Shall we? Commander. Proceed to these coordinates to join our assault formation. Our ships are in position and report ready. Let the battle begin. Proceeding with bombardment, targeting infrastructure and industrial objectives only. Silencer Group, move to your designated firing points. Surface Attack Group, advance. 
Isotope 5 generators at maximum output. Engines at 322%, shields at 563%. Energy levels like that, flying this close together, our little ships will never even show up on their scopes. We're all but invisible. They're concentrating fire, trying to pick us off one by one. Ignore them. Maintain course and speed. Shields failing for the Empire! Holding course. Holding! We have breached the Republic's defensive line. All ships, break formation. Scatter! They can't shoot at us now. If they miss, they'll hit their own people on the surface. Algus and Krovos have outdone themselves. Let's hope the rest goes so smooth. Surface attack group, proceed to your landing coordinates. The final phase of the battle is about to begin. There are more ground cannons than anticipated. All shuttles proceed to secondary drop zones. You're watching our backs. Republic's gonna send everyone they've got to reinforce this shipyard, so be ready to rack up some big kill counts. Contest starts now. A point for every kill. Officers are five, vehicles and Jedi count for ten. And if you die, you're out. So don't get reckless out there. Understood? We won't let you down, Major. You never do. Hop to it. Ready, Commander? Let's tear down a shipyard. up don't shoot i'm a pacifist who are you i'm theron sedrax obviously preeminent expert in exotechnology and senior design engineer for this facility theron huh don't you have a buddy named theron another theron he probably spells it the stupid way presumably you're here to seize control of the facility or perhaps to sabotage the defensive systems as long as you cooperate, we won't hurt you. A very reasonable position. I would love to make a grand speech about never giving up and choosing death over dishonor, but the truth is, the situation is out of my hands. All defensive systems, shields, anti-aircraft guns, and so on, have been transferred to the secondary control station near the top of the spire. All of this equipment is useless now. So there's really nothing to be accomplished here, and nothing I can help you with. Commander. Apparently the shield controls have been transferred to another control center higher up in the spire. Is that so? None of the computers will respond, my lord. And I'm seeing some lightsaber burns over here. That was the Jedi, Tau Adair. She's commanding the last of the facility's guards. She severed the connection as soon as control was transferred, then headed upstairs. Then we have our target. Commander. On Osus, we united our strength to crush the Jedi who tried to oppose the Empire. It's time we repeated that triumph. Join me, and together we will win a victory for the Empire that will change the course of the galaxy forever. Together we'll be unstoppable. Major, hold this position, no matter the cost. Yes, my lord. And what about him? The scientist who built this facility could be very useful. We should keep him alive. Whatever you say. I should have stayed on Nar Shaddaa. We'll keep you covered. Good luck up there. Hold it! Oh no. Steady. Fear is a deadly weapon. But only if you let them have it. Drop your weapons. Surrender. There's no need for more blood today. 
We won't back down. Fools. Not one of you could hope to defeat us. You're not fighting one of us. You're fighting all of us. Then you will all die. You are beaten. Your shipyard will be obliterated. Your Republic will crumble. And your fellow Jedi will be hunted to extinction. Your destruction is inevitable. As inevitable as gravity! Catastrophic structural damage detected. Shield power at maximum. Evacuation protocols recommended. Henry, the Jedi smashed the controls. There's no way to bring down the shields. I copy. Raven to command. Shield controls disabled. No alternate controls available. Please advise. All units, evacuate. The mission has failed. The shields cannot be disabled in time. Regroup at RV point crash. You heard her, people. Move out. Fall back, everyone. Fall back! Commander, that was just about the finest work I've ever seen. I know you're in the thick of it, but stop by the cantina later. Same place as last time. Have you lost your mind? Why would you call me here? Well, showing up in person seemed a bit risky. See you soon. The strategy was clearly flawed. There can be no other explanation. The strategy was perfect. The fleet held up on its end. You suggest that Darth Malgus and the Alliance Commander, perhaps the two deadliest beings in the galaxy, are the ones who fell short. No, I merely suggest that our strategy was not at fault. Ah, here is our beloved ally now. I'm sure there is a perfectly understandable explanation for these events. Malgus isn't the man he was. He slowed me down and gave the enemy the time they needed to ruin our plan. Where is Malgus now? Never you fear, he lives on. Though his recovery may take some time. Not unlike our fleet in the aftermath of this battle, the silencers remain intact, thanks to the cover provided by the Alliance fleet. But our Isotope 5 reserves are all but depleted, and we lost many more ships than we'd anticipated. All of this might have been a worthy trade in case of victory, but in defeat, we will be forced to cede significant territories. Then we must turn to our beloved allies to find the strength we require. My dear Commander, we must depend on your alliance now more than ever before. What is your plan moving forward? Let's continue this conversation alone, Commander. The rest of you may go. The shortcomings of the Dark Council have become apparent. They carry out the daily functions of the Empire well, but cannot be relied upon in war. The Empire requires an organization more suited to direct, decisive action, free of the interference of the Dark Council. A group answerable only to me. Our past Emperor had such a group, the Hand. But its members were a pack of fanatics and madmen. So I will form my own hand. 
Its members will be the Empire's most powerful and loyal warriors. From now on, your Alliance will coordinate operations alongside the Hand only. The Dark Council will hold no sway over your affairs. Fighting together, the Alliance and the Hand will be too powerful for any enemy to withstand. Our Empire will be unstoppable. A very wise course of action, Emperor. I thought so as well. For the time being, rest and prepare your people for the battles ahead of us. After all, victory favors the prepared. Farewell. The hero of the hour. You've made me a very popular man back at the office. Your tab is my tab. Seriously, you don't know how much this win means for us. Saving the shipyard without breaking your cover? Absolutely incredible work. When can I start fighting openly for the Republic? I wish I had a firm answer for you, but I just don't. For now, you're dealing too much damage from the inside for us to pass up. I want to put you in touch with a friend of mine, one of the best covert operators I've ever known. Commander, this is Master Seldarin. A pleasure. Sal and her friends have some big plans coming up, and I think you could be a big help. Few Jedi survived the war with Sukul. Most are scattered to the far corners of the galaxy, hidden awaiting a sign of hope to return to the fold. We intend to give them that sign very soon. And when we do, the Empire will try to stop us at any cost. You can stop them in ways no one else can. Warn us of impending attacks. Feed us intel on lost comrades. You can help us save the Jedi. We're here. Now tell me what this is all about. As I told you on Viking Space Dock, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. I was his most powerful servant once. His wrath. But I learned of his true nature and plotted his downfall for centuries. Ultimately, I saw what had to be done, and betrayed my empire in order to destroy its creator. That is how I came to fight alongside Kira. We fought the Emperor's servants constantly for years. We even thought we'd beaten him alongside my master. Then Yavin 4 happened. And Valkorion. I received guidance from an old ally. Instead of seeking out our enemy in his current shell, you, as it turns out, we sought a different target. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Unless we destroyed Tenebrae, the fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. As we later learned, we destroyed his first body just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Shan was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare, and started a new one. Like you, Kira and I have both been vessels for a portion of Tenebrae's power. It acted as a sort of vaccine. But Satil had no such protection, nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. In helping us, they unknowingly doomed themselves. 
Sith rituals, a force disease. I don't really see how I can help you with this. You're the only one who can. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. We're afraid they might be merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorian? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. Whatever it is, it is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. Huh? We loaded Satil and all of her followers onto a transport to keep them quarantined, along with a few medroids to tend to them. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the Outer Rim, all weeks away from civilization. I can send a signal to alter the course. Bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship and connect our minds with yours through the Force. Together, we will face this entity and purge it from existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster's schemes forever. Send the signal. If what you say is true, this thing could be getting stronger by the minute. I'll send the signal right away. It's gonna take a while for the transport to come back into range. Then we should stay here until it does. If you require any assistance in the meantime, don't hesitate to ask. Not so fast. I'm not fighting the Republic or the Jedi, so if that's what you want, definitely hesitate to ask. Ignore her. If necessary, I can slay enough of your enemies for both of us. Ugh. She grows on you. Eventually. 